they could have done with the skirt there, but how's it going, you guys? And welcome to week 43 of MK Pop News, where I get you caught up in the week's news in K pop all in one video. So, without further ado, let's get into the week's news in K pop. In Yuru news, Lovable Group 17 is under fire for apparently a rude response they gave to a fan. The fan in question was at a recent fan meeting event and she handed them post it notes with questions wanting 17 to answer them for her. One of the questions was, what am I to you? It's claimed that Song Kwan wrote back my bread and butter, aka income. That is the main response that led to all this criticism on Seventeen. Now Pledis has stepped in to talk about this controversy. Hello, this is the staff of Pledis. We're cautiously leaving a message as unconfirmed stories are being spread online. We cannot assure that our staff is always with or remember every fan and Seventeen when they have a conversation. But we do know that Seventeen is a group that does not think low of their relationship with fans. We want you to remember that they're the ones who treasure cares the most. We hope you guys that walk with Seventeen are not hurt. Take care of your health during this season change and we'll greet you guys with new news in the near future. Thank you. This whole thing is said to be made up by that fan and people have compared Song Kwan's writing earlier compared to the post -it that she posted and it, there, there is a difference there. And this is yet another case of tons of controversies caused by someone wanting attention. <sighs> In You Just Tried Us news, tons of Miu were struck with what they believed to be a teaser for FX's comeback. The teaser image showed a track list for FX's fifth mini album. And I can see how people were confused. The way SM designs their teasers is just as bad as that, so <laughs> I, I don't blame them. Anyways, the Twitter account that posted this teaser, once caught, said this. If you think the aiming me calling me a bitch and an attention whore will hurt me, you're wrong. Fuck G2. Oh, now that I've got y'all's attention, stay nine muses. Okay, y'all got me. Man, how do these people have time? To, 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 to make a fake teaser and want attention that bad, man. Do your parents not love you that much? In comeback news, the concept kings known as Vix will be making a springtime comeback. Jellyfish explained, Vix is preparing to come back in May. We're currently working on the album. Springtime is meant for happy melodies, bright and upbeat. How does Vix fit in that? <laughs> I just want to see what they do with a springtime comeback. They'll probably do a, a dark concept, man. Bust out the black leather and everything, man. Chokers and everything. In solo news, as some of you songs may already know, Girls Donation will be coming back to celebrate their 10th anniversary. But also, there is some solos in the works. According to recent reports, Hyoyeon and Yuna are going to be releasing solo singles back to back either in April or May. So there are tons of things coming from Girls' Generation soon and a lot for your songs. And me, I mean, I enjoy Girls' Generation. How can you not enjoy Girls' Generation? In It All Comes to an End news, MBK Entertainment recently revealed what will happen to Tiara. This is MBK Entertainment's official announcement on Tiara's contract renewal. As reported, Tiara's Boram and So Young's contract will end on May 15th. The other members, Kyuri, Eunjung, Hyomin, and Jiyeon, have renewed their contracts until the end of December this year, and they will continue on with their dramas, personal activities, and overseas activities. And now the last album from Tiara will be released in May. It's such a shame, but sometimes things don't work out. <laughs> In comeback news, Girls Day has finally legitimized their comeback with the album Everyday 5. And now they started the hype train for the comeback by releasing individual MV teasers for the title track I'll Be Yours. First with Mina in some high heels, then Yura playing the piano emotionally, Sojin trying to get the guy's attention, and Hyeri beating up on some guy. I kinda wish it was me though. Get ready for Girls Day on the 27th. In comeback news, EXID shared some more details about their comeback. The title track is apparently produced by LE and Shin Sa Dong Tiger, who also worked on Up and Down and Lie. EXID claims they're going to be switching up their concept for this comeback. 
And from a photo shoot with Reno recently, you can see a change already. And there's also a little bit of rumors about some solo activities from EXID members. Nothing confirmed yet. And for this comeback, man, EXID, my body is ready. Maybe I should do some stretches first. You know, you don't want to be stiff when EXID comes back because, you know, you're going to have, you're going to pull some muscles. You're going to pull something. And now on to speed round, where I get through as many K-pop stories as fast as possible. So let's go. Former IOI members Kim Do Young and Choi Yoo Jung to debut with their new girl group from Fantejo called, as of now, I Team Girls. They will be debuting this summer. Don't worry about the name though, it will change. Dreamcatcher, the group that shook everyone with their dark debut, will be back by sharing black and white teaser images. We may get to see how versatile Dreamcatcher are. No comeback date as of yet. Oh My Girl to come back without member Jin Yi with a vibrant, colorful concept on April 3rd. In fact, to come back with In Factory Part 3 with a retro style concept for April 5th. Teen Top will be regrouping as five members after El Jo left to come back with their second full album, High Five, on April 10th. But anyways, guys, that is it for this week in K-pop news. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a like. Check out my other in K-pop news videos so you can get some of that K-pop knowledge. And also hit the subscribe button for more. Now, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.